So welcome to this video series on aptitude presented by Mentors for IS in association with Bangalore IS Academy and Nama KPSC. So in this particular session, we will be continuing with problems based on strings. Now, in order to understand the kind of problems that we are going to be solving in this particular session, it is important that you've already gone through the previous video where we've solved simpler problems based on strings. So there's not much to explain over here. We'll straight away start with the first question. Now, the first question says, a train runs at 72 kilometers per hour and crosses a 250 meters long platform in 26 seconds. Then what is the length of the train? Now the question over here is asking for the length of the train. What is the length of the train? The question further tells us that there's a train, there's a train which runs at 72 kilometers per hour and this particular train crosses a bridge of 250 meters length in 26 seconds. So what is the length of the train? So if you've understood the concept in the last video, you know that the total distance over here traveled or that we have to consider is nothing but the length of the train as well as the length of the bridge. So in 26 seconds, if the question is saying, saying that in 26 seconds, the uh, train is going to cross the bridge, what does it mean? This end over here reaches this side. So if this end is going to reach here, what is the total distance covered by the rear end of the train? It is nothing but the length of the bridge or sorry, uh, the length of the platform and the length of the train. Therefore, if I say distance is equal to speed into time, here distance will be equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge. Distance will be equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge, or sorry, uh, the length of the platform where we know the length of the platform to be 250 meters. So, let, so first let me solve for D that is distance. What is the speed over here? Speed is 72 kilometers per hour. What is the time taken to cross the entire platform? 26 seconds. Now, since speed is in terms of hours, I'll have to convert time that is in seconds into hours. How can I do that? I'll have to divide 26 by 3600. See, one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. Then how many hours is equal to 26 seconds? Nothing but 26 into 1 divided by 3600. Okay. So we have 72 into 26 divided by 36. Now, obviously 36 into 2 is 72. So 36 twos are 72. This is 100. We have 6 twos are 12. One carry here, 2 twos are 4. 5 divided by 100 or 0.52 meters. Therefore, distance is equal to 0.52 meters or the total length over here is 0.52 meters. Therefore, 0.52 meters is equal to length of the train plus length of the platform. Where length of the platform is what? 250 meters. Length of the platform is 250 meters. So now it is, sorry, this is 0.52 kilometers. 0.52 kilometers. 0.52 kilometers. So now I'm going to write it in terms of meters. So we have 520 meters is equal to length of the train plus length of the platform. Length of the platform is nothing but 250 meters. Therefore, length of the train is what? 520 minus 250. 520 minus 250. So we, we have 0, 520, uh, 52 minus 25 is nothing but 27. Therefore, the length of the platform is 270 meters or option D is the correct answer. Option D is the correct answer over here. I hope you understood this question. Second question now. <clears throat> The second question says, a train running at 54 kilometers per hour takes 20 seconds to run, sorry, to pass a platform. A train running at 54 kilometers per hour 
so the speed of the train is 54 kilometers per hour so a train running at 54 kilometers per hour takes 20 seconds to pass a platform next it takes 12 seconds to pass a man walking at 6 kilometers per hour in the same direction in which the train is going therefore find the length of the train therefore find the length of the train now if you have already understood the previous question i'm pretty sure you should be able to appreciate what we are going to do next based on the information which is contained in the first statement where the first statement is saying a train is running at 54 kilometers per hour takes 20 seconds to pass a platform correct so we know that distance is equal to speed into time where i can say that this distance is nothing but length of the train plus length of the platform therefore length of the train plus length of the platform is equal to speed of the train that is 54 kilometers per second into the time taken to the time taken to pass the entire length of the platform that is 20 seconds now 20 seconds i'm going to represent it in terms of hours we get what we get 3600 we get 3600 so this we have determined over here but obviously we don't know the length of the train or length of the platform but the question is itself is asking for us to find the length of the train and the length of the platform over here then let us let us go to the next statement what is the next statement trying to say the next statement is saying uh, the train now takes 12 seconds to pass a man walking at 6 kilometers per hour in the same direction in which the train is going so based on all the problems that we have solved we know that when two entities are moving in the same direction when two entities are moving in the same direction the relative speed that we have to take will be the difference of the therefore we'll have to take the difference between the speed of the train which is 54 kilometers and speed of the man which is 6 kilometers per hour where the time taken to cross the man is what this is 12 seconds this is 12 seconds and what will be the distance over here the distance will be nothing but the length of the train itself therefore can i write this as length of the train equal to time into speed of the train minus speed of the man i'm just taking this to the left hand side over here therefore what is length of the train time time is what 12 seconds 12 seconds in terms of hours is 3000 sorry 12 divided by 3600 into speed of the train what is speed of the train it is 54 kilometers per hour minus speed of the man where speed of the man is 6 so we get 12 divided by 3600 into 48 12 threes are 36 so we have 300 over here uh, 12 uh, 12 fours are 48 we have 12 fours are 48 uh, 3 fours are 12 three hundreds are 300 therefore what do we have 4 into 4 16 divided by 100 that is L T. or I can say length of the train is nothing but 160 meters or 0.16 kilometers 0.16 kilometers now if we have to determine the length of the platform we just have to substitute this over here so now substituting the length of the train in this equation what do we get please remember it's not 160 here everything is in terms of kilometers 54 kilometers per hour so i have to take 0.16 and not 160 so it is 0.16 plus length of the platform is equal to 54 into 20 divided by 3600 over here <coughs> 3600 so 0 and 0 cancels 2 360 is 180 so we have 54 and 180 uh, now 18 18 twos are 36 18 threes are 54 so 
So 8 tens are is 1, uh, 8 tens are is 180, 8 threes are is uh, 54. Therefore, what do we have? We have one zero point one six plus length of the platform is equal to 3 by 10. Now I am going to take this to the right hand side. We have length of the platform is equal to 3 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.3 minus 0 0.16. 0 0.3 minus 0 0.16 is nothing but 0 0.14 kilometers. Therefore, length of the platform is 1.14 kilometers or 140 meters. So, length of the train, I am going to write it here. It is 160 meters and length of the platform is 140 meters. 160 comma 140 meters. So, it is here 160. See, it is not 140, 160. The question is asked you length of the train and platform respectively. Please don't get confused. You have 160 and 140 over here. One, uh, length of the train 160 and length of the platform 140 meters respectively. Therefore, the correct option is option A. So, we'll move on to the next question now. So, correct. Answer is 160 meters and 140 meters. Next question. Now, the next question says, a man sitting in a train 120 meters long, which is now traveling at 50 kilometers per hour, observes that a goods train traveling in the opposite direction takes 9 seconds to pass him. If the goods train is 280 meters long, find its speed. Now, here, see, please don't get confused. Read the question once again. It's saying a man is sitting in a train which is 180 meters long. Okay, so there's a train over here and a man is sitting inside the train which is 180 meters long. Which is traveling at 50 kilometers per hour. Now, if the train is traveling at 50 kilometers per hour, what does this mean? The person sitting inside the train, the person is also traveling at 50 kilometers per hour per hour itself. It also means that the person sitting inside the train is also traveling at the speed 50 kilometers per hour. Now the person sitting inside the train actually observes that there is a goods train which is now traveling in the opposite direction, which is now traveling in the opposite direction and the train takes 9 seconds to pass him. The train takes 9 seconds to pass him entirely. So if the goods train is 280 meters long, find its speed. We have to find the speed of the goods train over here. We know that whenever we have two entities moving in opposite directions, we take time is equal to distance divided by the speed is nothing but the difference between the speed. That is the speed of the goods train, the speed of the goods train and <coughs> the speed of the, uh, sorry, my mistake, not the difference. Since they are moving in the opposite directions, we have to take the sum. We will take the speed of the goods train that is Sg which we have to find out. Please my mistake it was not difference it is the sum that we have to find out plus 50 kilometers per hour which we already know. T is known. T is nothing but 9 seconds nothing but 9 divided by 3600. Now here is the catch distance. Okay. Now when you take distance this distance is nothing but 280 meters or 0.28 kilometers. This 120 kilometers is given just to confuse you. This is unnecessary information. The person is sitting inside the train and the person is seeing that the train is crossing him and him alone. So we don't want the length of the train. It is as if the person itself is running at 50 kilometers per hour. The question is not saying the train takes 9 seconds to pass uh, pass the first train or, or pass the passenger train. The question is saying the goods train take 9 seconds to pass this person over here. Therefore, we don't need the length of this train. Therefore, distance will be nothing but 0 0.28 kilometers here. So, we have time. Time is what? 9, 9 divided by 3600. This is equal to distance is what? 0 0.28 kilometers divided by speed of the goods train that we have to find out plus 50 kilometers per hour. Now, since the person is sitting inside the train, he is also moving at 50 kilometers per hour and we have to determine the speed of the person who is, sorry, speed of the goods train. So, we will uh, take this over here and we will take this over here or what I can do is 9 
four sir. Okay, so nine four to thirty six. We have four hundred. We'll take this over here. So speed of the goods train plus fifty is equal to and four hundred over to the other side. Nothing but four into twenty eight. Four hundred into point two eight is nothing but four into twenty. Therefore, speed of the goods train is nothing but four into twenty eight. Uh, eight four sir thirty two. Four ones are four. Four two sir eight. Four two z. Four two z eight. Uh, eight plus three is twelve. Sorry, eight plus three is eleven. Hundred and twelve. Hundred and twelve minus fifty. Hundred and twelve minus fifty is what? Two eleven minus five is six. So it is sixty two kilometers per hour. Therefore, the speed of the goods train is what? It is sixty two kilometers per hour. Therefore, the correct option is option C. Yes, it is sixty two kilometers per hour. So I hope you understood this. We'll move on to the next question now. Fourth question. Now the fourth question says, <clears throat> a train covers a distance of twelve kilometers in ten minutes. A train covers a train covers a distance of twelve kilometers in time ten minutes. If it takes six seconds to pass a telegraph post, if it takes six seconds to pass a Telegraph post. Then what is the length of the train? Now you know how to find the length of the train. Now how do we find the length of the train? We consider the length of the train as nothing but distance itself. Distance is equal to speed of the train into the time taken to cross this uh, telegraph post. Where speed we don't know. Time is what six divided by three thousand six hundred. Now in order to determine the speed of the train, that is why we have this extra information. The question also says or mentions that the train covers a distance of twelve kilometers in ten minutes. Then what is speed? Speed is nothing but distance by time. Your distance is twelve kilometers divided by ten minutes. Now I want it in terms of hours since we always do it in kilometers per hours. I'll take it in terms of hours. Ten meters, ten minutes is how many hours? Nothing but ten by sixty hours. So we take sixty to the numerator and we have speed as Twelve into sixty divided by ten. Ten six is sixty. Twelve five is sixty. Twelve into six is nothing but twelve six is seventy-two kilometers per hour. So now we will substitute speed as seventy-two kilometers per hour over here. So what is the question asking for length of the train? This is nothing but distance. Where distance is equal to speed into time, we have just determined the speed as what seventy-two kilometers per hour. Into time six seconds, which is given in the question itself, that is six divided by three thousand six hundred. We already know thirty-six two za seventy-two. So thirty-six hundred, thirty-six two za seventy-two. Six two za twelve. Twelve divided by hundred, nothing but point one two kilometers. So the length of the train is point one two kilometers, or it means it is nothing but one twenty meters. Therefore, the correct answer is one twenty meters, or option C. Therefore, the correct answer is one twenty meters. Now let us move on to the third question. Correct, it is one twenty meters. Sorry, fifth question now. <clears throat> now, the fifth question. What does the fifth question say? The fifth question says, a man is standing on a railway platform. Man is standing on a railway platform, which is one hundred and eighty meters long. A man is standing on a railway platform. Now this is your railway platform. Okay, a man is standing on the railway platform, which is one hundred and eighty meters long. He finds that a train crosses the platform. So we have a train over here. Okay. Now the train crosses the platform. The train crosses the platform in twenty seconds. The train crosses the platform in twenty seconds. Find the speed of the train. Find the speed of the train. But the question also says that 
the person finds the train to be crossing himself in 8 seconds i hope you understood now the train is crossing the platform in 20 seconds but crosses the man in how many seconds 8 seconds and we have to find the speed of the we have to find the speed of the train i hope this is clear this is very simple now we have already solved uh, similar problems like this and this should be you should be able to do this as well without much problem okay now this is very simple how will we solve this particular problem over here <clears throat> now length of the train length of the train we do not know because only says a man is standing on a railway platform which is 180 meters long length of the train we don't know length of the platform is what it is given as 180 meters therefore we know that distance is equal to speed into time so here we have two scenarios here we have two scenarios the first scenario will take the train crossing the man the train crossing the man itself then what is distance distance is nothing but length of the train distance is nothing but length of the train this is equal to what speed of the train into the time taken to pass this man which is 8 seconds therefore it is 8 divided by 3600 over here so i hope this is clear next we have the second scenario where the second scenario says the length of the platform plus length of the train is equal to again the same thing that is speed into the time taken to cross the platform so that is what 20 divided by 3600 20 divided by 3600 so i hope now you are able to see it we have to determine what we have to determine the speed of the uh, train but we have one another unknown variable that is the uh, length of the train so what we will do is we will substitute length of the train as s into 8 divided by 3600 over here we are going to substitute lt that is length of the train as s into 8 divided by 3600 over here so what do we get we get lp where lp is what 180 meters or 0.18 kilometers plus 8s here s into 8 8 s divided by 3600 is equal to 20 s divided by 3600 i'll take this to the right hand side i get 0.18 is equal to 20 s divided by 3600 minus 8 s divided by 3600 therefore 0.18 is what 20 minus 8 is 12 s divided by 3600 where 12 threes are 36 therefore i am going to write this over here therefore speed is what 0 0.18 into 300 or nothing but 18 into 3 what is 18 into 3 8 on the 8 8 to 16 8 3 is a 24 3 on the 3 2 5 50 therefore speed of the train is what it is 54 kilometers per hour the speed of the train is 54 kilometers per hour i hope you understood if you are able to solve this kind of a problem you should be able to solve any kind of problem when it comes to problems based on trains we'll move on to the next question now okay question number so yes it is 54 kilometers per hour option b correct answer is 54 kilometers let us now move on to the next question okay question number six question number six says a train traveling at 78 kilometers per hour crosses a girl sitting in a train of length 110 meters traveling in the same direction that is 42 kilometers per hour in 20 seconds what is the length of the faster train what is the length of the faster train so what the question is saying is that a train is now traveling at a train is now traveling at 78 kilometers per hour this train crosses a girl sitting in another train sitting in another train of length 
110 meters which is also traveling in the same direction at a speed of 42 kilometers per hour and this train crosses this train sorry this train uh, co uh, crosses the girl sitting inside this train in 20 seconds in 20 seconds therefore what is the length of this train what is length of this train now based on one of the problems that we have already solved earlier by now you should have realized that this information is unnecessary for us this is nothing but to confuse us that oh what is this 110 meters what are we supposed to do this we must be using it here how do we use it you get confused okay so the entire purpose of 110 meters is nothing but to confuse you but we know that this information is entirely unnecessary because the question is saying that uh, this train takes 20 seconds to cross the girl and not the train itself if it had said it takes 20 seconds to cross this train then yes we need 110 meters or else it is not required so again same thing distance is equal to speed into time where distance is what distance is nothing but length of the train this is nothing but length of the train where speed is what now since it is two entities moving in the same direction what do we do when two entities are moving in the same direction what do we do the speed the one which is overtaking s1 minus s2 we always take the difference between the speeds we always take the difference between the speeds the relative speeds is what it is nothing but difference between the two uh, entities moving in the same direction therefore speed over here this is what nothing but 78 minus 42 so i will say this is nothing but 78 minus 42 into time time is 20 seconds therefore i will divide it by 3000 therefore length of the train is what 8 minus 2 is 6 7 minus 4 is uh, 3 into 2 by sorry not 36000 it is 3600 don't you think it is very simple now 100 0 0 cancels nothing but 2 divided by 10 it is 0 0.2 Length of the train is 0.2 kilometers, which is nothing but 200 meters. It is option C. Therefore, the correct answer is 200 meters or 0.2 kilometers. Answer is 200 meters. Next question. <clears throat> now, the next question says, a jogger running at 9 kilometers per hour alongside a railway track a, a jogger running at so there's a person over here he is running at 9 kilometers per hour on a railway track and is 240 meters ahead of the engine of a 120 meter long train running at 45 kilometers per hour in the same direction so in how much time will the train pass the jogger so what the question is saying is there is a train there is a train now the length of the train is 120 meters the length of the train is 120 meters the person the jogger who is running at 9 kilometers per hour is 240 meters ahead of the train where the train is now running at 45 kilometers per hour so in how much time will the train pass the jogger therefore in how much time will the train pass the jogger what does this mean this rear end should be passing him for the rear end to pass him what is the total distance covered 120 meters plus 240 meters so 120 meters plus 240 meters this is what this is nothing but 240 plus 120 is 360 meters therefore the total distance for us is nothing but the total length over here which is equal to 360 meters so now, now the question is asking how much time will the train pass the jogger so we know t is nothing but distance by speed and whenever two things are moving in the same direction the relative speed is nothing but the difference between the two speeds so here it is nothing but speed of the train minus speed of the jogger or speed of the man over here and the question is asking for time then what is this distance is what 360 meters or 0.36 kilometers divided by speed of the train which is 45 minus speed of the man which is 9 kilometers so we get 0.36 divided by 36 
or I can say it is 36 divided by 36. 100, nothing but 1 by 100 equal to 0 0.01 hours. Now, if you look at the options over here, everything is in terms of seconds. Now, I have to convert this into hours. How do I convert 0 0.01 hours into seconds? I simply have to multiply it by 3600. So, when I multiply 0 0.01 hours by 3600, how much do I get? I get 36 seconds. Therefore, the train will take 36 seconds to entirely cross the jogger. Therefore, the answer is 36 seconds. The correct option is option C. The correct option is option C. So, I hope you have been able to understand the different kinds of problems that you might get based on problems. Again, to understand this, it is important that you understand time, speed and distance. Uh, there are a few practice questions here. <coughs> So there are three practice questions over here, there are three practice questions over here, the answers for which will be posted in the comment section, do try to solve them, uh, see if you are able to solve all the three questions, if you have understood you should be able to solve all the three questions. So if you do have any doubts, please do write to us in the comment section, thank you for watching.